How Islam is Fighting Coronavirus in Pakistan As Pakistan imposes greater social distancing measures to combat coronavirus, a Muslim law of generosity is helping to save those out of work. The concept of social distancing is new in Pakistan, and it has left many daily wage earners out of work. Like many nations, Pakistan has imposed strict containment measures in response to the global coronavirus pandemic, including closing schools, banning public gatherings, and shuttering all businesses that don't sell groceries or medicine. But unlike some other countries that have ordered similar measures, the effects of a prolonged lockdown here could have much more dire economic and potentially fatal consequences. But a Muslim law of generosity is helping to save those out of work. In a recent coronavirus-related address to the nation, Pakistan's Prime Minister, Imran Khan, stated that 25% of Pakistanis cannot afford to eat two times a day. As the country issues more stringent lockdown measures and forces people to stay home, many daily wage earners here from street food vendors to shoe shiners now haven't earned a rupee in weeks, and they're going hungry. Amid the pandemic, Pakistanis are bonding together to assist the less fortunate in a unique and inspiring way. As many places shut down in Pakistan, some workers have begun making protective masks for the public. Many are offering zakat, the traditional Muslim charity tax, for daily wage earners who have no paid leave, health insurance or financial safety net. Pakistan is one of the world's most generous nations, and a recent study found that 98% of Pakistanis donate time or money to charity. The spirit of generosity is firmly hardwired into Pakistan's DNA. In fact, throughout the world's 47 Muslim-majority nations, zakat contributions are typically voluntary, but Pakistan is one of only six countries in which it is mandated and collected by the government. According to Rizwan Hussain, author of the Oxford Encyclopedia of the Islamic World, Pakistan is the only country to have been established in the name of Islam, and this devout spirituality is reflected in its laws. According to a report by the Stanford Social Innovation Review Pakistan contributes more than 1% of its GDP to charity, placing it among far wealthier countries like the United Kingdom, 1.3%, and Canada, 1.2%, and around twice what India gives relative to GDP. And a nationwide study found that 98% of Pakistanis give to charity or volunteer their time, a figure that far exceeds the number of people who are legally obligated to offer zakat. In a sense, Pakistanis view the power of zakat and religious charity to be cosmic forces. And in the face of a pandemic, these powers are being ramped up in the hope that the crisis will end. Pakistanis believe that one good deed begets another, and perhaps our generosity will spread faster than the virus. Armed with the unwavering belief that humanity at large will benefit, Pakistanis are trying their best to provide a cushion to those who need assistance and hope to those who need hope.